What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another quick video for you about using Team Builder and different things that you can do with it. And this one is coming because of a lot of questions that I was asked and it's about these helmets that you see on the screen here. The two-tone helmet that I have here. The orange going into the blue and I, I guess it's something that a lot of people are looking forward to trying to use in Team Builder. And I am here today to show you what I did to create that and how you can manipulate the image on the helmet in Team Builder to get this look that I have on this helmet. So here is the, the I just use a 2000 by 1500 so that it's a little bit wider and that should help us be able to wrap it better around the helmet without it looking too oversized. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right here to rectangle tool and then I'm gonna start at one point and I'm gonna create a rectangle or a square, whatever you wanna call it, it doesn't matter. And you'll see that I already have it set to this. It's one of the options on here is a, is a gradient fill. It's right there. Now, the other part of it though, is if you look here, you can do either this where it has multiple different colors that you can add into it, or you can do one that has nothing and then a color at one side. So now let's go back here to rectangle. You have to be in rectangle to be able to adjust these. And then I click on the rectangle that I have here. And now this will populate up here. This top part here, if I adjust this, it's gonna change how much of a gradient is, is in different spots, right? So right now it's way at the bottom because I have it more to the left. You see how it gets a little bit more tighter of a spread towards the bottom there when I move it to the left. And then if I bring it all the way to the right, it makes it almost the full, the full thing. So we want to find one that's almost like half and half. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here and yeah, I want it to be a little bit thicker. I don't want it to be as much of a gradient. I want it to be more of a, of a separation. So like right here, we have the really deep blue and then it goes into this little fade area here. And then we can use that to just bring it out just a little bit more. Maybe bring this back a little bit that we find the happy medium that we're at. If you really want it to be just a true gradient, you can go all the way back here. Just know that it's going to end up being a little bit more um, difficult to get the true two tone color look if you don't have it moved around like this a little. All right now let's see like, if, and then for instance, if you wanted to really be like a, a true two tone, not a gradient, you could essentially just take this whole thing away and just do like a half a square like that and save the square. And then you would upload the square to that. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So we're just gonna use this gradient first. So we're gonna go here, save. Remember to export as, make sure it's small enough. Okay, this is much bigger than, than what I need. See, it's 948, we need it to be under 512. We're gonna go ahead here, smaller. And that brings it down to 303, which is good enough. Here, if you want to go back to away from a gradient to a regular color, you just have to click in here. And there you go. Then it'll change it back to, to a gradient, just a normal color, no gradient. And then, of course, you click here to go to the gradient section. You can go here to take away no color and so on and so forth. So if we want to go here, let's just say we want this to be a nice blue. Now, let's go a red this time. Yeah, we'll go a, like a deeper red. There we go. And I'm also going to show, like, you know, you see those helmets where it has like red on one side, white on the other side, and then there's like almost like a black stripe down the middle that separates them. You can do that look on here if you really want to. It's not as easy to do, but it is possible. So what you could do is you go here, make this square a little bit bigger so that way it's showing as such. And then now that this is the only side that's showing, there we go. And now what I can do is I can duplicate this layer. Okay. And then that one is gonna be underneath. I'm gonna bring that up from behind. And then this back layer, I'm gonna do, let's just say we'll make it black. Black like that. And then I'm back up to this layer. And then I'm gonna do a inner glow or inner shadow. So it's it's very tricky and it's, it takes a bit to build up, but it does work and it looks and it can look really cool if you do it right. So we have this inner shadow here. The question is how well is it gonna come through on the helmet? We're gonna find that out. So I'm gonna save this. Then I'm gonna go back to 
this square, the, the one that's on the outside, the black one. I'm going to go back to blending options. Bring this over here so you guys can see me do it this time. I didn't realize it was on the wrong screen. My apologies. So what I'm clicking on is inner glow and it'll give a effect. But I've actually, you know what? No, we're going to go. What am I thinking? We want outer glow. And you see how there was a little bit of a white change there. We're going to go here, change it to black. And now you have that same look on the outside of this one. And what the hope is, is that when you upload this, it'll have, it'll keep that look. And when you add it to the helmet, it will almost look as if the black line is like above the two colors. Like it's like, it's, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll show you when I, when we get to the helmet. So this here is done. I'm going to go ahead and export this as a PNG. So what I did is I came back here and I just, I, I brought the gradient down a little bit again by playing around with the, um, by playing around with this slider here to make sure that it's not as, it's not too over the top. So now we have this little bit of a gradient fill. This is gonna be completely empty. And then we have this, this really deep blue. And when we stretch it out, it should actually show through very well. So we're gonna go ahead and export this one again. And this is what it's gonna look like when you start, right? So it's gonna be this one little square. What you're gonna do right away is you're gonna mirror it. That way it looks the same on both sides. And then you just gotta play around with it. So I know for a fact that this has to be very wide to work. So I'm gonna unlock here. If you click on this little thing here, it's gonna unlock it. I'm gonna go to the Y scale, or sorry, not the Y scale, the X scale here, and I'm gonna stretch it out like that. You see now it's stretching around the entire base of the front of the helmet there, and it's meeting up in the back. The second part here is we want this to be more flush. We want this to sort of be like this, right? We want the darkness to be on the back part here, and we want this to come up here. So now we have that in place. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down a little bit. Left, right, put it all around. And once I find a sort of a sweet spot, I'm going to go ahead and I have this unlock. I'm going to move the X scale so that it spreads towards the bottom of the of the helmet here. And look at how it just overtakes the bottom of this helmet and it actually meets up very, very well. But now I sort of have that bottom part of the helmet that's completely blue. This middle part is sort of in between and we have the top completely gray. Now, if you wanted to go here and just use this as a helmet, I mean, you could probably make this look pretty cool. Or you can come back up here and you can make the other part of it a different color altogether. Just keep in mind, whatever this gradient is, it's going to mix, right? And now we're going to have purple in the middle here. So that's sort of the downfall of using a that has only one side of it being done. You're going to get that effect. If you want that effect, cool. But it is something to keep an eye on. Um, if we want to go for like a black, just to give that effect, you could do that as well. Otherwise, if you want to do a full on gradient, you could do that. We're going to go ahead. We're going to remove this, add a custom layer, and I'm actually going to add the one from the VSU build here, and I'll show you what I did with that one. Now, when you're working with two colors, this is where you can sort of make it look exactly how you want. So once we have these two colors loaded up, I'm going to go ahead do my moving around again. Let's just say we want the blue on the bottom and the orange on the top. So I'm going to put it at somewhat of an angle here because usually, you know, you have it like this part is one color and this part is the other. Then once I have that done, I am going to scale it up and I'm going to unlock this so I can move this around more freely so and get it lined up a little bit better. Make sure that it's, oh, it's not quite meeting up. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger. want to make sure that there's no spots on here where it's, it's meeting up. And now just with a couple of tweaks by bringing the X scale wide really far up, everything else is pretty much dead even. And then unlocking this and toying with the Y scale to get the rotation right, I now have a two-tone helmet. And the beauty of this is because it's an uploaded, you know, it's, it's still something you uploaded, you can choose if you want it to be glossy, matte, satin, or chrome if you really want to. So you can really make something super, super cool looking with this. And if you want to get this effect with something like two particular colors, so let's say, you know, we're going to do, I don't know, you want to do more of a, this kind of a, a gradient and you want it to be one side black, the other side green. We're going to go here, double click, we're going to find the green that we want, that so we want it to be like lime green. 
And then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna find the black that we want. All right, and now we have this. And now we have to toy around with this stuff up here. How much of it do we want it to be green? How much of it do we want it to be black? That sort of a thing. And see, if you want it to be more of a half and half, you can just move these a little bit inside. And now you look at how much of a, of a change that is. Now that's a very, very drastic change. But one thing that is cool is you can adjust this to have the sort of the angle you already want. See, now if I want the, let's say I want the green to be at the bottom of the helmet and the black to be on the top, I can sort of angle it like this a little bit, play around with it, have it where you want it. And then we'll go ahead and we'll export this. We're gonna go apply and we're gonna change this to gray just so I can make sure that it's covering up properly. We're gonna go back in here and now you have your square. And now with this one, because I already have the angle that I'm sort of looking for, I might really just be able to blow this up. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, very easy. Give it a little bit of an angle, and then you can put yourself right in there. Just blow up the X or the both of them here. It should automatically adjust itself accordingly. If not, unlock it. Toy around with it a little bit the way you, you want to. Like so. Rotate a little bit, you know, whatever you feel that you need to do. The only downfall with using this as an option is if you look right down here, it doesn't hit all of the helmet. It doesn't matter what you do. There's just like a stopping point where it just, it will not hit. And then, so down here, you can either try to match up the color or just let it be. And then up top here, you have to make sure there's no, there is no, you know, that kind of a situation. So what you can do here is you can go like, move it up a little bit. And that'll also help the green come through a little bit more. And now you can see that there's nothing on the top. There's nothing on the back here in the middle. And... All we have to do is try to maybe match this green up or something on the bottom there. And then once again, you can adjust this if you want it to be glossy, matte, chrome, you know, whatever you want it to be, you can make it happen. Add another layer. You can add up to seven layers here, right? So like you're not, you're not stuck at using whatever they, they have for you. I mean, you can use whatever you want. You don't have to just use one thing. Like you're not sacrificing having a logo on your helmet by simply having this two-tone look just so that you guys can see that you can still upload a logo with it on top and there we go so now you have a logo on there you could set it to however you want so now if you guys want to know exactly what this angle is right so going here going up to the adjust this this is the setup here and this is a 61 percent angle on this thing you can just adjust this little knob this little knob here or you can just change the number and it's on linear and then just take a look at this. I'm gonna pause here so you can see exactly how I have it set up. And then you can adjust these colors however you want. And then you just upload it, just like I did. Stretch it out, play around a little bit until you get it to exactly where you want it to be. And you have yourself a two-tone helmet. I'm hoping this comes through properly. If it doesn't, oh well. This is sort of a test for me. It actually might. So we have this uploaded here. All right, so. Now I have this red look on the back. I have this black bar going across the top. It almost looks like there's a like a gradient on it. And then what I can do, I can go ahead and maybe let's make that uh, gloss or chrome or whatever you want. There you go, you have a chrome on the bottom. You can go ahead and hit apply. And then we're gonna go up to the top here and let's make this helmet white. But we'll make the white shiny or chrome or matte, whatever. This is sort of that effect that they were doing a lot with the Madden uh, uniforms the last year when they redid the relocation stuff, where they have like this, this two-tone area. And then if you really wanna get crazy, and let's say you wanna have a logo coming out of this instead of it being over the top, you can do that. Let's just add a custom layer here so I can show you how. So let's just, we're gonna use existing. Um, we'll use the Desperados here. Um, let's make it bigger like that. Maybe I don't know. I'm just toying around with this. I'm not really being serious with it. There we go. Okay. And boom. Like, let's say we want this to, to be hidden behind here, right? So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And then right here, you see these little arrows. You can literally drag these. And now look. Now the logo is coming from behind your two-tone. Now, is this gonna be a look for everything? No, gosh, no, it's not gonna be. 
And I'm sure that if I actually took the time to make something with this, instead of just using it as examples, I can make it look much cooler. Oh, I got a little bit of a thing there. So we're gonna have to make sure we adjust that. Um, let's go in here and there we go. I get a little bit of adjustment. You, you might have a little bit of a curvature here, curvature here because you have to realize you're going over the top of this helmet. It's just something that you're, we're gonna have to live with if we wanna use this kind of a feature. The other really nice part about this too is if you wanna use this to almost make another part of like a stripe here, this the stripe is going to go under what you have over the top here. So let's just say we add a stripe. Look at how it stops here because it's going underneath. So if we wanna make that stripe black and make it chrome to sort of match up with that, you can do that and now it's sort of like a part of all of the stuff you have here now again very weird way to make a helmet all that fun stuff but i'm just showing you the options that you have you your helmet stripe will go underneath this little portion that you added in here and you can also make your logo come out of this as well or if you want this on the top whatever you just got to move this around right here by clicking here dragging it up and then it'll go across the top however you however you fancy what you're gonna have in here. All right, and then the last thing I wanted to show you guys today is how you can make adjustments to a jersey by adding shapes to it and, you know, making it your own. So let's say you want like a big stripe. Now, again, this is not going to look pretty because this is actually meant for the VSU build pants. But what I can do is I can show you how you can do this with your own shapes to create some cool looks. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because nobody likes it. Go in here, add, go, you, and this is a stripe that I made for the pant leg of the VSU Trojans uh, uniform, the one with the two-tone helmet. So you see how it gets added in here. And let's say I want to make something on the chest here, almost like how the Seahawks have, right? Well, I can go ahead, move this, rotate it, you know, sideways. Say 90 degrees, left, right, see, and then we're gonna make sure this goes big, up, down, and once again, we can unlock this, make it a little bit wider. When you do this, look right here, it's gonna go in behind this. So if I, if I move this left or right, see it sort of disappears back there. What this allows, is you to create a look that you can tailor to this. So if you want a, a shape, let's, let's just say, maybe this is what you want, right? You want these big things coming out of the side. Now, obviously probably not, but we'll just say it is. Move it up, be on the chest here, and it is gonna stop right here. So I don't know if you wanna do something with the shoulder here, or if you wanna do you know, whatever, um, but you can create custom designs in here, add them to the jersey. And this is exactly how I did the the jersey for VSU. And then you can also add it in again. Then we're gonna, you can use these to flip it, right? So if I wanna flip it horizontally, I can do that. Then rotate this thing again to 90. Uh, let's say we're gonna make it a white jersey. So that's there. And then let's say we're gonna do a collar on our jersey. We're gonna do that. We're gonna match up this blue. So we're gonna come over here to blue. Try to find something that sort of matches that. It might not perfectly, but you guys get the point, okay? You can actually make custom jerseys. You do not have to use what's available to you if you have shapes or something you want to add, or if you want to add a stripe. Like, let's say you want to add one of these as a stripe on the side of your jersey. You could do that as well. It is going to cut off at this point. So what you have, you have two options here, okay? You can create it so it's on this back end here or you could do another one on the back end and have it line up right and now let's say this one is going to come over there as well so we're going to bring this one all the way down and look at now now i have a stripe on the side of my jersey by just putting one on the back you pushing the back button and then moving it over here and then putting another one on the front and moving it over here now will this take up a lot of resources yes it will will this take a lot of finessing to make sure it looks good yes it will but it is possible to do this. You know, it is possible to make a jersey with a side panel. You know, it's, impo it's possible to put a jersey with something on the chest plate like I did for the VSU build. It's even some, it's even possible to do 
something on the sleeve here. Like maybe let's, maybe we want a, a full colored sleeve. I could make a, a fancy stripe for the top here if I don't want to use the in-game stuff. I want to have like a, a cool eagle wing or something coming off the, the, the side here of the chest plate. I can put that in here. There's a lot of things you can do if you put your mind to it, folks. Now, none of these jerseys I've shown you today are pretty, but they get the point across. You know, open your mind a little bit, think about it, what you want to put in here, and you can really make a lot of this stuff happen. It all just comes down to, are you willing to put in the tedious work to, to get it done? All right, so let's say we want to have a two-tone jersey. It is sort of possible. It's very tricky. It's much harder than the, um, than the helmet is, for sure, but it is possible. Let's upload this gradient that I have here, and then we're going to blow this up just like so. I'm going to move it down, and there we go. Then you have to copy that onto the last or the, the uh, back side. So we're going to do that again. Back. Blow it up. It down I want to make sure that this lines up on both sides so it sort of matches up right there look at what that just did <laughs> look at the jersey i just made by just messing around it colored the shoulder pads it made this two-tone i mean i don't know guys that's sort of a cool looking jersey i mean let's see if i can match up the collar now with that I should easily be able to find this color. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Boom. And then we could do the colors of the numbers that color. Right? And then maybe make the outline black and white. There we go. Look at that. And then we can make the logo of the jersey that. And maybe want to add a little flare to fix that up. We're going to go here. We're going to add this. And look at that it fixes that for us now that's one solid color and we're gonna do name plates and we'll do the name plate that color and now we have this badass jersey all because i put a gradient on one side put it on the other side and i match them up as best as i could so that is all i wanted to show you guys today I might do some more videos like this. These aren't very planned and sometimes I ramble and sometimes I get lost and sometimes I change course because I'm sort of like thinking on the go here. I'm just trying to help you guys out, create the stuff that you're looking to create, just like I said in the video the other day. And I hope that you guys can use some of this to make your own creations and I'd love to see some of them. Um, I do have Twitter. So if you find me on Twitter, the CB Gaming, um, send them to me on Twitter. I'd love to see some of the cool builds you guys make. And uh, don't forget to let me know of some extra builds that I could do. I have a list of like 20 teams right now that I'm probably going to start working on soon. But, you know, it, it's a work in progress. We'll start making them. And we, of course, we got NIU coming out. It's an exciting time right here on the channel for me. I'm, I'm really, really excited for the next few months between uh, college football and then, of course, Madden 25. So it's, it's a really good time to, you know, subscribe if you have not already. Hit that like button. You know I appreciate that. And then turn on that bell notification. And I will see you guys next time.